Why is it important now that we give a key role to the Zero Hunger Challenge? Well, the World Food Programme has rightly placed the Secretary General Zero Hunger Challenge at the heart of the activities during the World Economic Forum's annual meeting. Together, we have the opportunity to set the agenda for 2014 and by doing so outline the pathway to 2015, which is, in my view, a pivotal year on the journey to sustainable development. This is the year where we will adopt a new set of sustainable development goals and a binding treaty on climate change. This is directly relevant for the Zero Hunger Challenge. The human cost of environmental degradation is immense. Climate change is expected to have a profound effect on both food and nutritional security for the world's poorest and most vulnerable people. In fact, according to one estimate, child malnutrition could increase by over 20% by 2050 if no action is taken. With the post-2015 development agenda, we truly have an opportunity to end extreme poverty in our lifetime, making hunger history whilst promoting social inclusion and safeguarding the planet for future generations. Don't you want to be part of that? But to make this happen, the groundwork needs to be done this year. Now what is Unilever doing to tackle the challenges of nutrition and what are we doing to encourage the public-private sector partnership to drive all these efforts to scale? Well, first of all, we need to make sure that food security remains high on the list of global political priorities. That's not always the case. Not only is it critical that we include food and nutrition security as key part of the post-2015 agenda, but we also appeal to the coming G20 and G8 presidencies, for example, to give this the political importance and weight it deserves, just like the WEF is doing now. Secondly, we need to build and promote good global partnerships built on trust, because it's only together that we can scale for impact. The new vision for agriculture or the work we're undertaking on reducing deforestation together with the Consumer Goods Forum, the Tropical Forest Alliance, they're all good examples of partnerships that can do this. Thirdly, business needs to make initiatives to tackle food security and nutrition in their own business models, making it an integral part of their business strategies, an integral part of their brands to ensure that they are also economically sustainable. Last but not least, by partnering with civil society organizations, many of them presented here, business has the opportunity to scale up impact even faster. Within Unilever, we do this mainly through our foundation partners, the World Food Programme, UNICEF, Oxfam, Save the Children, and PSI. For example, in the area of food security and nutrition, this means that together and through our $20 million investment, we have reached well over 4.3 million children worldwide in 2013 alone. Finally, we're proud to continue to support the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and movements such as Scaling Up Nutrition, capably led by David Navarro, to make zero hunger a reality within our generation. Thank you very much.